Celsius. Kim Gringo. Expelliarmus. I should let Dink know about the newborn Thestral.
Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. You can stop a thief in their tracks with Stupefy. You're back! Nice to see you. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, 
He works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickel had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. If it thinks it's done half the work Is the new reversal hex? <laughs> Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to... Why he hasn't? Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I have a terrible curse where I can't live too long. When I need to replenish my herbology supplies, I go to the I saw what you did! Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, 
May I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, RH. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. 
Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Ugh. My advice and you I swear to him. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Past the high wing! Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Good thing the ministry has Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! Hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. They don't seem to care for me in Hogsmeade. 
can't say I blame them. What with all like It's not gonna work. It might. Using that girl as bait, that one's coming for us. We ought to just kill her. Harlow says her friend will be reckless enough. He wants them alive. Only a whole student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. But, hey. One wonders who wants to share and share alike, say I. That's a robin. But, hey. I've robbed every traveling vendor that's passed through. They never allowed us to troll you. to finish the job. Say what you will about I'd remember my father to speak of these times. Seems now they're upon me, they tell quite a different story. Ah.
Revelio. I've had enough of Spellcroft, and I never have to see it again. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some truck. Girls be nothing but trouble. About time we locked her up. Nerificus Totalus. What was that? Felt anything at all. Thought you could Spell hide from me, did you? Glacius. Couldn't bring up.
You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. I need your help. Revelio. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Mr. Rabe! Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked. Rebellion. Any luck with my wand? Please. Incendio. You must find it. Quickly. Rebellion. My wand is somewhere in this room. I can tell. Rape's wand could be in there. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay.
Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie uh. both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Quite stately in its time.
Good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets' feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot, especially not with wizard kind, and not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Let's go! Come on, High Wing! High Wing! Go!
There we go. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. Depulsa. Accio. Flupendo. Glacius. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Revelio. Away, High Wing! Away! Bye! 
lost the high wing. High wing, go! That's it. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings close together. Fear is weakness. I never feel.
Welcome back. Have you finished? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Akio. Perhaps you don't know where you live here. Good also. Incendio. Akio. Ingardium Leviosa. Akio. Ingardium Leviosa. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyahashi quit it. I did. F and I know that. My but Liquid Asuka. You didn't report her. Her fate was not my fate is in my hands. Thank you, Professor. Arresto momentum. That's it. Keep it up. I should dismount here. Hello. Are you here for someone as caught? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Precisely as planned. Akio. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Akio. as planned. Akio. Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. Akio. Precisely as planned. Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. Didn't I say I adore competition? Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. 
the spirit? as planned. as planned. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig? I'll never top that. Accio! Precisely as planned. Hmm, nice technique. Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. as planned. Akio. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Akio. as planned. Akio. Hmm, nice technique. Akio. Precisely as planned. Akio. <gasps> I'll remember that. Well, you are good. Not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason.
Slow down now. There we go. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> mm. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. He could have been a bit clearer or stayed a moment and answered our questions. Centaurs can be cryptic. Grand says no one talks more in circles than a Centaur. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find.
Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Revelio.
You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reba and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. <laughs> Uncle Roland sends his best. He often asks after you and his owls. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. <sighs> it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. 
I for one can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. I spent all night working on my history of magic essay. Almost fell asleep in class. Lumos. Whoever came up with using moonstone in a potion? Oh. I tried to heck of someone caught that. I was always in trouble, I was. Always something broken. Wish Revelio. She's not that good at flying. Hogwarts is a second home to me. Incendio. I'd spend all day in the Great Hall of Fighting. It's always so warm and bright.
Off on another adventure, are we? Alohomora.
have to get those up there somehow. In Guardian Leviosa, perhaps. Descendo. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Descendo. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Repero. Accio. Leviosa Revelio Leviosa Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Good Fringo. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. to go. Revelio.
Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. Uncle Roland sends his best. He often asks after you and his aunt. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. 
she could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Ha! Ah, you call that a shine on those boots? Do better! Ah, if you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Greetings. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Ah. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Headmaster? Here? Yeah. What could he want? Goodness. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. 
mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Something is very wrong with Professor Bond. It's... Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Oh no, I'd hate he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. Well, they're as good as invisible to me, sir. Rotten little extortionist holding my diary hostage. What was that, Broom? Uh, nothing, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, mm -hmm. I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? 
<coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh... I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle.
You can't imagine how Revelio. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the part. Toujours pure. All the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio! That must be the pedestal. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. when I could. I'd be free by now. Let's <laughs> move while we can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right.
They're gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Ugh. I need to time this just right. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. See a staircase straight ahead. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but... I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. Must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way. 
closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. Visible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. But this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Rebellion. Pulse Defender. Defender. 
Defender. Defender.
also. Defender. Bombarder.
the pulsar. Defender.
Dagon! Revelio! Revelio!
Defender. Bombarder. Bombarder. Defender. Stone. This must be for me. You are far from finished. <laughs> She's gone. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. <laughs> Me? Why? We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that, as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. 
Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey.
I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Good black children are too young. Professor Black glanced at me the other day. Sorry. 
That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. This is my sister's first year at home. I haven't been called Puffskeen Dunking once since you brought me that venomous tentacular leaf. I think I am actually braver.
I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise.
I wonder who lives here. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realised something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Some exciting news to share.
Settle yourself. I mean you no harm.
跟着阿杰。Everything's all right now. Someone will never believe this. Some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts, and Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Deke's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Nice to see you, my young friend. Come on, High Wing.
lost the high wing. Descendo. Bombada. for making me a first object of your suspicions. I know who my friends are now, don't I? One less human to worry about. Rock has fooled you all to your demise.
Revelio. One less human to worry about. Bombarda. Rebellion. Revelio. Bombarda. 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 Rebellion. Rebellion.
Valkyr. Guardian Leviosa. The Pulsar. Incendium. Kunfringo. Wingardium Leviosa. Expelliant. Defendo. Bombarda. Revelio.
Away, High Wing! Away! Let's go! Come on, High Wing! High Wing! Go! This looks intriguing. I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Hmm. You will regret coming here. I'm not quiet enough. Don't have to race now, my friend. High wing, go! 
up for a bit of dying, are we? Um... Uh. 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 You can't imagine. These rocks have seen the wires a grapple. Such arrogance. Any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Who is it? Slow down now. There we go. Well, something made a sound. Must have been me. Look at your eyes. Someone's here. I sense. Rookwood, don't go down easy. Cabringo. Oh, no need to race now, my friend. Incendio. Confringo. Bombarda. Defender. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Bombarda. Could the Phoenix be in there? Incendio. Revelio.
Revelio. Phoenixes can turn to rocks, do you? What? No. Keep looking. You've seen how much a single feather fetches. <laughs> Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, Stayed at the castle. <laughs> Bombarder. Oh! Huh? Defender. Imperial. Incendio! Attention! Phoenix. He 
It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. You can do it's you. Cost us our brain incendio. How does that feel? Incendio. Ready to Oh, it's a bit like um incendio. Protect us. Confringo. Well, you look like you're trying. To lose. <sighs> <sighs> One less poacher in the wizarding world. There it is again. Incendio.
Kingdom. Imperium. Bombarder. Defender. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. for high wing. Oh, 
Bombarda. you somewhere safe. Lumos. It seems happy to... I wonder if... Travel in the knapsack. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Beauty. You keep it close.
Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Revelio. going to hurt you.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dorothy cool feather. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derrickals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose, the cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome.
Good for you. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. 
years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me and in the process. I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat, oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn... Did you find my pointy pony? I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Who lived here, I wonder?
to become a seer of the cloud. Come on, Hazel. Hazel must be here somewhere. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course, it's worth almost any amount to galleons to make sure my dear girl is cared for. Take good care of Hazel now. How nice to see you, my young friend. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Clearly I need this. Someone oh, little moon calf. Far from home. What was that? Get away! Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. 
It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends, for now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Quietly now. meals I've ever eaten. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I bet the Thestral nests close by. Incendio! Glacius! Arrest their momentum! Descendo! Kill any who trespass! There they are. Let's go! Wait! We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Silent as a grave. An intruder! You're making this easy. You call that spellcasting? As if you can best the likes of me. Let's get this over. Nice try. Send up. 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 Send up.
Defender. Descender. Defender. You must have a lucky shot. Also. Yeah! Don't you try again, I beg you! Send them! I'm... Oh. I'm no! Vependo! Akio! For me? Arrest the momentum. I won't rest. <laughs> Enjoy suffering, do you? They deserved. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Ramrock's going to make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Ugh. Revelio. Someone there? One less human to worry about. You don't know who you're playing with! You are postponing the inevitable!
loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrog's got that right, and I'll be most keen. achieve his goals in that regard. Since before you were born. Pity, not quite. Rest the momentum. This is where you can't stop. Uh, no! Sebastian, wait, wait, for what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it, that's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders! How fitting. It's a Incendio! Glacius! Arresto momentum! Arrest 
Iglesias. Incendio. Incendio. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders! How fitting. Defender! Bombarda! Expelliarmus! These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Bring 
Staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Confringo! Bombarda! Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. the cavern can't have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Can 
Fringo! Luck or instinct? I'd imagine we'd need to find all three we can't get out of here quick enough.
Expelliarms. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. Confringo! Bombarda! That was a piece of work. More than one. Find something. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Accio. 
Nokia. Indonium Leviosa. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs, but the view, well worth it. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Bombarda! Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Isadora created. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Revelio. Revelio. Another ancient magic passageway to the Undercroft. The final piece to the triptych must be here. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Revelio! I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father, but I can give you peace.
Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. Did indeed. Of course it did. It's copper and silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait?
found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Lord Gok's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Thing to identify, for now at least. <laughs> 